So I, I want to address a couple other things here. Um, one thing is that uh, eventually the, our body of the page is going to include HTML. And we'll get into that a little further down the road when we get into our, our back end or our admin area. Uh, and we'll, we'll use a, a neat WYSIWYG to uh, create the HTML. Right now we have our body wrapped in a paragraph tag just because there isn't any HTML and we'd kind of like to have it somewhat formatted. But I also want to take this opportunity to show you something neat about that function we created uh, in a couple videos back in the uh, data.php. So it's already cool that we get to return this array with all the information about the page. However, what we can also do is we can add things to that array to be sent back so that we can use it on the page as well. So for instance, instead of us putting that uh, paragraph tag hard-coded here in the index page, we can take this out and come over to our data.php and underneath line 8, after the data array has been created, we can add to it. So let's create another key and we'll, uh, for now we'll call this body formatted. And we're going to make this equal to the uh, body with the paragraph tags around it. So we'll start a string here with the single quotes, make our paragraph tag, the opening one, do a dot to concatenate. And we're going to place the body inside of here. So we need data body and another dot to concatenate and we're going to add another string here. So single quotes and the closing paragraph tag and then close this with a semicolon. We'll go ahead and save this. So now with the body on the index page here, we have a couple options. We could simply spit out the body, which is not going to have the paragraph tag around it, or we could do body formatted. And that's going to put the paragraph tag around it. But I want to take this one step further. Go ahead and save this. Go back to our data.php. Really, we only want this paragraph tag to be wrapped around the body in the event that there isn't any HTML in the body. So it's kind of a safety precaution. So in case somebody goes into the admin and puts in a page where the body doesn't have any HTML in it, aka any, any formatting, uh, it'll automatically add that paragraph tag. And to do so, we're going we're gonna to use a function that's normally used to actually strip the HTML out. Uh, which is a pretty cool function in itself. But we're going to use it to check to see if there is any HTML. And what we'll go ahead and do is actually we're going to create a couple different options for our body in, in the process. So first let's create a body without any HTML. And I just noticed here uh, I made a typo on line 10. This should be data, not date. So let's go to line 9 here. We're going to do data. And then we're going to create another key. And again, if you're, if you're not familiar with arrays and what I mean by key uh, and things like that, go ahead and check out our PHP series on arrays. And we'll call this body underscore no HTML. And we'll make this equal to and we're going to run this function that I was telling you about called strip underscore tags. So strip underscore tags. And then it wants one property and that is the string. The string in this case is going to be our body. So we want data the body key. I'll go ahead and close this with a semicolon. So this is going to go through and look at the body, if there's any HTML tags in it, it's going to take them out. And then store it 
and data body underscore no HTML. And you might think, why would we want this? Uh, but there are some examples where you might want it. Uh, for instance, here, if you look at uh, this podcasting website, which is a podcast I do with uh, Justin Gilson and uh, John Rady, um, both friends of mine that I met through the digital craft. Um, we wanted to put uh, what you might call a little summary or a little blurb from each one of these articles that we have on our, on our page. So if you actually went to the read more page, you're going to see the full article with HTML and images and things like that. But we didn't want that here. So we, we actually ran two functions. We, one, we stripped the tags so that we just had some text. And then I wrapped a paragraph tag around that. And then two, I cut the string length down to, well, I don't know what, maybe 200 characters, maybe 300 characters. So that's an example of when you might want to actually take the HTML out. And a shameless plug for our podcast, Live Speak Radio. Now let's take advantage of this function and uh, use it to see if there is any HTML. So we can do if and what we're going to do is we're going to compare the body with the body no HTML. And if they're identical then we know that there wasn't any HTML in there to begin with. Now it might take you a minute to wrap your head around that but try and do it. So I'll go over it again here. We're going to compare the body unaltered with the body where we took out all the HTML and if they are identical then that means we know that there was never any HTML in there to begin with so let's do that so if data body is equal to don't forget your uh, square bracket there strip data body underscore no HTML then do something so if this is true then that means there was no HTML and we want to go ahead and do the body formatted so let's actually take this out. Let's cut this and let's put this in here. Go ahead and paste that in there. So if there isn't any HTML, go ahead and take the body and wrap it in this paragraph tag. And we're going to do else in the event that there is HTML, in which case we want the body to be pretty much unaltered. So instead, we're going to set data body underscore formatted to simply equal data body. So either way, body underscore formatted gets a value and then we can go ahead and use it on the index page. But in the event that there is some HTML, it'll go ahead and spit it out as is. If there isn't any HTML, it'll go ahead and wrap that paragraph tag around the body. We'll go ahead and save that. And to test this, we'll go ahead and put some HTML in one of our pages. So I'm going to come over here to Atom CMS, our project. I'm going to right click, choose new folder, and I'm just going to call this images. And I'm just going to throw an image that I took a couple minutes ago here in my office and put it in this images folder really quick. So there, I added the uh, this sample.jpg. So we'll be using this images folder further on down the road. And if you want to run this example, you can go ahead and just put your own picture in there. I just used a uh, 
640 by 480 JPEG. So that should fit in our page nicely. So now we need to hop over to phpMyAdmin. And we need to put some HTML in one of these pages. So I'm going to click on the pages table here on the left. And we'll go ahead and use the About Us. So we'll go to Edit. So right here before the uh, generic web text, I'm going to put in an image tag. And the source is going to be equal to images slash sample jpg. And we'll just leave it like that for now. If we need to adjust it, uh, maybe float it to the right or the left or something, we'll do that in a second. So click go. And hop back over to our page. Click on about. And there we go. There's our picture. That's uh, my workstation. I'm a nerd. I like to show it off. So let's go ahead and just uh, make this look a little nicer. I'm going to go ahead and come back here and edit this. And I'm going to go ahead and put a little CSS in here. And for those who aren't familiar, this is considered inline CSS. Style equals. And then inside here, I'm just going to tell it to float to the right. I'm going to make it uh, a little bit smaller. So width, 75%. Height, 75%, and we'll go ahead and give it a margin on the uh, left side, so it's not bumping right up against the text. 10 pixels, and click go. Hop back over to our page. Hit refresh. I actually made a mistake with my CSS there, um, so I'm going to click on edit. The, uh, the size is actually, the uh, 75% is actually not what I meant it to be. That's going to be 75% of uh, the uh, div that it's inside. So it's actually potentially becoming bigger than I wanted it to be, rather than smaller. So I'm just going to go ahead and set this to 320 pixels by 240 pixels and click go pop back to our page refresh and there that's a little better um, not necessarily to scale it's a little squished but whatever so now let's test this let's right click and view source now there shouldn't be any paragraph tag wrapped around this and there isn't we just have the image title so there we go but now if we go to home which doesn't have any HTML and we right click and view source you'll see that it put a paragraph tag around our text here so just a quick little uh, example of what we can do with this data underscore page function and how we can add things to the array